Time to check in with one of my favorites. It's Zebra Technology, ZBRA. A company is now transforming itself thanks to the savvy, well-timed acquisition of Motorola Solutions Enterprise business for $3.45 billion. And a deal closed last October. The old Zebra was a maker of specialty printers uh, like thermal labels to uh, receipt printers as well as associated software, some supplies, radio frequency identification, or, you know, RFID, and some encoders and tags. But when Zebra brought Motorola Solutions Enterprise business, known as the Barcode Division, for a song, it transformed itself into a leader in multiple major enterprise platforms. Everything from mobile computing to barcode and mobile printing, data capture, the RFID business, location and motion management solutions, and cloud-based device management solutions. The synergies are tremendous. And while Zebra initially got slammed on the news, as many investors were skeptical, not here, thank you, thanks, well, we knew the company well. The stock has since bounced back with a vengeance, giving us a 24% gain since we interviewed the CEO last May. Now, today, Zebra rang the NASDAQ opening bell to celebrate the launch of its new products and logo. So let's use this opportunity to take a closer look with Anders Gustafsson. He's the CEO of Zebra Technologies. Hear more about his company and how it has transformed itself. Mr. Gustafsson, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Thank you. Thanks for having right. me back. Anders, I remember going out on Long Island, not to go to the beach, but go to that beautiful civil technologies factory out there. And I always said there is so much, so much potential. Yep. But it was never realized until you bought it, was it? Well, hopefully we can realize more of it today. Okay, tell me. Yeah. Well, I think since we uh, closed the acquisition, things have been going very well. Yeah. You know, we have been all about how we can help our customers increase visibility and productivity by really harnessing what we call the little data or, mm -hmm. or edge analytics. And uh, I think the feedback from our customers and partners have been very good. You know, financial results have been very good, and, and momentum has been good going into 2015. We, you know, we had David Aldridge on yeah. last week, and he's the CEO of Skyworks Solutions. And he was talking about the 70 billion sensors yeah. and how his company's been able to tap into it. In many ways, this is a very fortuitous combination. You may be at the intersection of all of the Internet of Things. Yeah, we, we see that we're really in a great position to leverage three mega trends. You take the Internet of Things, Cloud computing and mobility. Well, yeah, and, you know, with, with get, that, social mo get social, social in there and it's yeah. a game set yeah. match, yeah. right? Now we take all the, all the data that the Internet of Things can generate about what's going on in the right. physical world. You analyze it using cloud applications, and now you can really draw conclusions and, and you know, analyze that and uh, enable employees, workers to make smarter, more timely decisions. And you've created basically an ecosystem around all of this. That's right. We are, we are, we are very much an ecosystem-driven strategy where we, are, we do certain things, but we partner with a lot of other companies to provide the broader applications or solutions. Okay, well, one of, let's talk about the partnership. One of the things that was pretty clear is you have a pretty good relationship with pro football. Yeah. Why don't you sit, ch walk us through, because that's something that all our viewers will therefore understand the context of. Yeah. So when we talk about how to provide greater visibility into an operation, say. Right. You know, the NFL and what we do with the tra 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 uh, tracking NFL football players is kind of a great example. Obviously, before you could see them but watching video or, or, or live, but from a digital perspective, they were kind of dark. Yes. So now we put two tags, you know, they look like, like this, actually, uh, under each uh, shoulder pad for the players. We can now tra then track in real time how fast they run, how fast they accelerate, how far they run. We can compare first quarter versus last quarter. So now you have a, you know, really a, a, a much, more, much more visibility into the actual performance of the players. Were all the coaches uh, on board, or is this just some teams that have really identified and didn't all, use this? All teams were using this last year, uh, all the Thursday night games, as well as the Super Bowl and Pro Bowl. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Okay, uh, you and your very, you're very forceful at the beginning of your March 17th conference call that this is the year of Android. Yeah. Now, explain that because a lot of people feel this is Apple's year. Yeah. So for us, you know, we um, we've come out with a new uh, portfolio of Android-powered semi-ruggedized smartphones. So historically, semi ruggedized. Semi ruggedized. So, no, it can, in the field, it's not, you can yeah. drop it and it doesn't you, impact. You it. can drop it and so forth. It's much more ruggedized than a, than a regular, um, say, smartphone, mm -hmm. but not quite as ruggedized as our historical devices. And they go after uh, new use cases, new applications. Well, uh, 
like healthcare? Like healthcare is a very good example. Retail, healthcare, uh, TNL, postal. I thought it was very interesting that in the hospital you had pictures of babies that have uh, things around yep. their arm. So how is this making it so that there are fewer mistakes? So as an example, uh, you know, in, in, a, in, a, in a say in a care facility, if the patient has a, a, a wristband with a barcode, the caregiver has an ID card of some sort. Uh, you can now go in and you can scare, scan the wristband for the patient or for the baby. You can scan the, the, uh, the uh, ID card of the mm -hmm. caregiver. You can scan the medication to make sure the right patient get the right medication, the right dose at the right time by an authorized caregiver. It cuts down, um, you know, in, you know, errors in, in Well, that's treatment. what I was going to ask. Do yeah. you think that if a hospital that does that has a better chance of lowering its malpractice premiums? That's one of the you know, benefits that it offers. It Im improves the quality of care, but also makes it more efficient and lowers the, the insurance premiums as a big part of the drivers. So where do you think you are in terms of the synergies? Because I know that you upped the uh, amount of synergies, uh, well, from the yeah. original, yeah. but is there more? Well, I think that we uh, feel very good about where we are on the synergy side. We are probably running slightly ahead of, right. of, of our schedule. But uh, at, at this stage, I think we're, we're comfortable staying with the $150 million target that we identified. Well, I'm adding you to that list of Internet of Things companies that I'm putting together to be able to say who's really going to benefit from yeah. all these sensors because it's companies that can make sense of it. Yeah. Zebra is at the top of the list. I want to thank you so much thank for you. coming on the show. That is Anders Gustafsson, the CEO of Zebra Technologies. Hey, listen, when everyone else was selling this thing, we told you to buy it. You know what? You should still keep buying it. Man, money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.